Hey everybody and welcome to my living room. What you see here is my hi-fi setup, which is the product of almost 15 years of collecting vintage audio equipment. I'm going to run you through it. First off, we have my Luxman PD444 turntable equipped with the Fidelity Research FR64S tonearm with an Autophone MC30 Super cartridge. The reason I really like this beautiful turntable is because it really speaks to the enthusiast in me. First off, it's very easy to live with. It's convenient, it just has a start and stop button. It has a built-in lid so that I can leave records on for days without worrying about them getting dusty. And I think it's very beautiful. At the same time, it supports two tone arms at the same time, including 12 inch arms. And thereby, it's an easy platform for me to play with different tone arms if I want to. My preamp is the Accuface C200 preamplifier and my power amp is the accompanying Accuface P300. These are very iconic to me because they were part of the very first models that Accuface released. Accuface is still to this day a very highly renowned high-end audio manufacturer and these two uh, pieces are perfect for a person like me. One of the reasons is that because I'm collecting hi-fi I might switch between different power amps, different preamps, wanting to test something out. And because of this lid on the preamp, I have the possibility to output my preamp to another power amp. I have a full tape, extra set of tape in and out, including an auxiliary input directly on the front. I don't have to pull it out of the rack. I don't have to access it from the back. The same functionality is available on the Accuface P300. I have a separate input for another preamp and I have an extra set of speaker terminal outputs and therefore these units are perfect for a person like me who wants the ability to plug in whatever I bring home without having to move around my equipment. And the last thing, the elephant in the room, my big JBL 4343 studio monitors. I love these and I've actually worked six years in collecting the drivers and then I built my own replica enclosures based on plans that I was able to put together on the internet over a span of years. Unfortunately, two years ago when moving into this apartment, I dropped them from a moving van so the enclosures have seen some damage. Luckily enough, the drivers in crossover didn't see any damage at all, so it's just the enclosures. And because I built them myself, well, I could build a new pair, which I think is going to be an upcoming project I will feature here on this channel. Much of this hobby revolves around testing out equipment, but also taking care of what you have. First off, I'm going to tackle the Accuface series here uh, in terms of general maintenance and cleaning. And then maybe this summer, we'll get a crack at building a new pair of enclosures for the JBLs. If you want to read more about vintage audio equipment, you're very welcome to visit my website. Also, you can follow me on Instagram. Links are in the description below. As always, like and subscribe if you want more content like this. And thank you very much for watching. Hey everybody, Soren here and welcome to my living room. What you see here is my vintage... <laughs> Come on, Martin Kolik.